Hi there, welcome back to my channel. I'm JPK. Today we're doing the 13th, yep, the 13th episode of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I didn't actually look at the title for this one, but I was told on Patreon that a two-parter's next, so I'm guessing this is part one. I probably wouldn't even guess from a title, honestly. I'm not very good at doing that anyway, but um, at least I have zero clues having not looked at the title. The last one was another self-contained one, as the one before that was. So yeah, there's no kind of um, cliffhanger to pick up from or anything. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm hoping actually that this is a return for Drusilla and Spike. I've been told on Patreon as well that that's very soon. So I imagine it's probably this one, given that we've had two without them. Anyway, so let's get to it. Another nightmare, shoving the dreams. Ooh. Oh, this is a nightmare. They've done it too often. <laughs> I'm wise to it now. Got to be a nightmare, right? She didn't actually wake up. Yeah. Unless Sanders decided to throw a house party while she was asleep. <laughs> Willow, what the fuck? With the monkey. <laughs> well, it's definitely a dream. Do you really think you're ready, Buffy? What? Ready? Is this another like premonition dream? We're gonna see things that's gonna happen here. Oh, she's the angel. You know, turn into a spike or something. Oh. Ooh. Let's hope it's not a premonition. Is that a ring he was wearing? I think we've seen that before. Ooh. Happy birthday, Buffy. The birthday, okay. Ooh, that was a good start. Angel can't die, surely, because there's a show called Angel, right? That starts. At some point, I don't think it started yet in terms of when this show is broadcast, but I mean, she stopped the master from, well, the master didn't kill her, but he did. So that premonition did come true. Hey. Oh, is she going to tell him what she saw? Is everything okay? That's what I was going to ask you. You're okay, right? Oh, she's just worried. Sure. You worried that it had already happened? She killed you right in front of me. It was just a dream. It wasn't real. The dreams that I had about the master, they came true. Yeah. Still. Not every dream you have comes true. I dreamt that Giles and I opened an office supply warehouse in Vegas. See my what? <laughs> Sounds like one of Giles' dreams. <laughs> we deal. But what if she... Angel likes living in the moment, doesn't he? Like, he doesn't seem too bothered. Like, a fully strength Drusilla is a threat to Angel as well as Buffy, right? She wants revenge on him, as we saw. In a way, it'd be kind of being mercy for him, wouldn't it? It's almost torturous for him to live with a soul knowing what he's done. I, I have to go to school. I know. He's got Buffy now. That's a weird sentence, isn't it? For this situation. I'm sorry, I have to go to school. Especially given that he's a couple of centuries old. It's getting a bit steamy, this. I like seeing you first thing in the morning. It's bedtime for me. <laughs> yeah. I want to like seeing you at bedtime. Um, oh. <laughs> uh, you know what I mean. Rewind, rewind. And the part at the end of the night where we say goodbye, it's getting harder. It is. You ask him to stay? He wants to see you at bedtime too? Of course he does. <laughs> he might be a vampire, but he's still a guy. What do you want to do? I think we know what she wants to do. <laughs> Carpe diem. You told me that once. Seize the day. Fish of the day. Not no carp, fish, carp. <laughs> means seize the day. Right. That was his Xander line, wasn't it? Hey. Hey. He's recovered from his gunshot wound then. See, our band's kind of moving towards this new sound where we suck, so. <laughs> I'm going to ask you to go out with me tomorrow night. And I'm kind of nervous about it, actually. Wow. It's interesting. Interesting. <laughs> Did he say that about being shot? It's Buffy's birthday, and we're throwing our surprise party. Oh. Uh. It's okay. Invite us. But you could come. Yeah. If you want it. Well, I don't want to crash. You've been invited us. Well, you could be my, my date. plus one. My date. Alright, I'm mm -hmm. in. <laughs> oh, her face. <laughs> Awkward. I said date. <laughs> She's so adorable. Manana. Oh, is he gonna ask Cordelia to go with him? Uh, you know, ask going. her. And then and, and I'm going. <laughs> 
we maybe go? <laughs> That's the way to do it. Groping in a broom closet isn't dating. You don't call <sighs> it a date until the guy spends money. <laughs> of course. You have nothing to be ashamed of. I, on the other hand, have everything to be ashamed of. You know what? Enough said. Come on, Cordelia, really? Glutton for punishment. Oh. I don't really get Cordelia's problem anymore. Funky party weasel. Here comes Buffy, not remember. <laughs> Charles going to this party. You could have just said, shh. Not are all you Brits such drama queens? <laughs> no, we're not. We're really not. It was more of a, a, a portent. See, I don't know. I don't want to start a big freak out over nothing. So many words. Couldn't you just say we'd be in trouble? Go to class, Alan. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> Charles is literally done with Xander at this point, isn't he? They're yeah, the other gifts. Did he say other oh, gifts? Your party in Vienna? Oh, Drusilla's having a party. Do they share a birthday or something? A birth date. My gatherings are always oh. perfect. Oh, he's all burned in the fire, I guess. What the fuck is she doing? Sunnydale's cursed for us. Angel and the Slayer see to that. I've got good games for everyone. <laughs> got Twister and everything. Try something different. Wow, she's got some Wild definition man. in those arms. What the fuck? She's got bigger muscles than me. Just to peak love. What's this? A birthday mm -hmm. present? Party. It reeks of death. What is it? That's like a mini coffin. It'll be the best party ever. Not a toddler vampire, is it or something? It will be the love. Uh oh. She looked kind of hot, actually, Drusilla. <laughs> oh, oh, the dream. Oh, does that mean Angel's gonna die? It must do. Would that work though? If he's got a show, his own show coming. Unless they revive him, like they were gonna revive the master. Jenny this guy. Calendars. Is that Russian? You startled me. Do you look well? She says his pain is lessening. She can feel it. Pain is less. They're talking about Angel. How could you let this happen? Oh, no. I promise you, tell me. Angel still suffers. And yeah. he makes amends for his evil. He even saved my life. Wait, is she... Destroyed the most beloved daughter of your tribe? Oh my god! She's Romany Gypsy. Vengeance demands that his pain be eternal as ours oh. is. You thought you are Jenny Calendar now? Oh no! You are still Yana. Yeah. Oh. A gypsy. I know. She's undercover. I know. Oh, Miss Calendar, or Yana. Girl and him, it ends now. Ooh. Do what you must to take her from him. I will see to it. Ah, oh, you're joking me. I love Miss Calendar. Dreams aren't prophecies, Buffy. I mean, you dreamt that the master had risen, but you, you stopped it from happening. Well, did she? He did rise. Not for long, but he did rise. So much for our surprise party. I bought little hats and everything. Mm -hmm. No. Oh, well. Oh, a date's off, isn't it? No, you won't. We're having a party tonight. Looks like Mr. Caution mm. Man, but the sound he makes is funny. <laughs> Buffy's surprise party will go ahead as we planned. One thing I've learned in my tenure here on the Hellmouth is that there is no good time to relax. <laughs> He's Buffy's got a point. Turning 17 just this once, yeah. she deserves a party. You may as well get on with your life before it's too late. Miss Calendar, I can't believe it. I need time to get over this. Sorry. Oh, shit. Um, Giles wanted me to tell you that there's been a change of plans. Oh, is she trying to... He's very thorough. Oh, which is not too bad. It's kind of manly in an obsessive compulsive kind of way, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Um, you know, my car's here. Why don't I drive you? Oh, no. Buffy. Is she trying to lure her somewhere? Oh, come on. She's one of my favourite characters. No, Buffy, maybe you shouldn't. These are gypsies. Sorry. Sacred duty, yada, yada, yada. Every time I see you, you're stealing something. Oh, it's, oh, it's vampires. I really should speak with someone about this klepto issue. What was that? That was like that little coffin thing. To some start to her birthday party. They can hear that, right? <laughs> Surprise! 
That was some entrance. Are you okay? Oh, yeah. he hasn't seen that before, has he? Well, we'll the end. I know. This means he's in the group. Accept it first. Actually, it explains a lot. Somebody give me a hand here. Oh, they've got it. Those creeps left us behind. What is it? I have no idea. Don't tell me it is a coffin. <laughs> no, it's kind of a weird shape, right? A hand? An arm? Oh, what the fuck? The vampires cursed an arm? How did they do that? Uh, yeah, you might want to help. Why are they just standing there watching that? It looks like an arm. <laughs> no shit. She wouldn't. What, uh, Vamp's version of snakes in a can or do you care to share? An angel, angel knows about this. They call him the judge. The judge. The judge. This is he? Not all of them. Oh. I'm still getting backstory here? Mm, yeah, me too. Remember him, but uh, not kill him. Pieces were scattered. <laughs> buried in every corner of the earth. This is one of the pieces. Parts are being brought here. By Drusilla. Oh. The vamps outside were spikes. They rebuild him. She's just crazy enough to do it. Do what? <laughs> Reassemble the judge? <laughs> Bring forth Armageddon. Why haven't you heard about this judge before? Is anybody else gonna have cake? <laughs> really? You. Lost my present. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh oh. <laughs> what the fuck? You're about to die, I'm son. To blow out the candles. You Can might do. give him a chance to find your lost treasure. Look at her face. Please. Look at her face. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god, he had a lucky escape. He said he needs to take it far away, right? Why can't he just chuck it in the sea or something? Or no one's gonna find it unless they follow him, right? Chuck it in a tank of piranhas. <laughs> Let them deal with it. Can it be destroyed? Maybe not. I'll be back. No, how long it's gonna take, or if we'll even. Why would it take so long? I don't understand. I have something for you. For your birthday, I was gonna give it to you earlier, but. Oh, the ring. Is that the one he was wearing? We need to disintegrate. Wear it with the heart pointing towards you. It means you belong to somebody. No. Oh. oh, right. He's got he's still got, right matching rings. I mean, if he's going away for a month or more or a year, whatever it takes, given their lives and the way they constantly in danger, right? It could be the end, couldn't it? They may never see each other again. This goodbye makes sense. Bye. Oh shit. Where's the box? Hide the box. I know they're busy at the moment, but that's what they're here for, right? Oh, shit. Oh. oh. I don't know. She can swim, right? I think you should have stayed with the box. Fight, tried to fight for it. I mean, what kind of a future would she have really had with them? She's got two jobs. Denny's waitress by day, Sander. slayer by night. And Angel's always in front of the TV with a big blood belly. The <laughs> blood belly. <laughs> You've thought way too much about this. Yeah. Well, no, that's just the beginning. <laughs> Have I told you the part where I fly into town in my private jet and take Buffy out for prime rib? Xander. I thought he was over this by now, now that he's just got all, kind of with Cordelia, but I guess not. A true creature of evil can survive the process. No human ever has. What's the problem? We send Cordy to fight this guy and we go for pizza. <laughs> It's not that evil, surely. Run, Robin. It's when everybody calls everybody else's mom and tells them they're staying at everyone's house. I wonder if we're ever going to get to see Xander's parents, Cordelia's parents, even Willow. We've heard Willow's mom, but we haven't seen her. Ooh. She's going to find out Miss Calendar isn't who we think she is. Hands off my presents. No! Slitting his throat wouldn't work, though, would it? <laughs> Just to stake him, right? It's making it look like Angel's definitely going to cop it, but... I didn't know vampires threw parties. Those wannabe vampires weren't far wrong, were they? <laughs> With this lifestyle. What the fuck is this? <laughs> That's some sort of weird art. <laughs> oh, is this the last piece for the, the judge? Oh, that completes it, right? Uh oh. What's this thing going to look like? Is it a vampire? Oh. Blue. Spike's even a bit shocked here. 
What's that, mate? You two stink <laughs> mate. of humanity. What are they? What are we? But careful. That we're the ones who brought you here. Oh. No. Look at her face. <laughs> oh, well, he didn't last long. I thought he was going to be a uh, again, recurring character, but. Do it again. <laughs> She's an absolute nutcase. That was a weak version of the judge. Jeez. Shipping yards, airports, anything. We need to stop You're them. A bit late, guys. In one place. We can't wait for it to come get us. Yeah, you want to hit it while it's weak, right? Stay in there. Jesus Christ, talk about walking into the lion's den. Is this wise? I saw this. <laughs> what? What is it? Oh, can he like smell them? We got Run. <laughs> yep. Oh shit. We have here. What? <laughs> Crashes. Oh. How are they going to get out of this? She's so full of good intention. <laughs> Chilling. Oh, is this it? Then, but it was Priscilla that killed him in a dream, right? So he's not going to kill him if it was a proper premonition. Oh, missed him. Oh, okay. <laughs> it bought some time, I guess. These vampires, man, there's such fuck ups. Even with the judge, they escaped. Shaking like a leaf. Let me get you something. Get out of the covers just to warm up. Oh yeah. What I think Sorry. is gonna happen, gonna happen. It's okay, I just have a cut or something. Can I? Oh, feed on it. That'd be kind of a weird symbiotic relationship, wouldn't it? If he sucked the blood from her wound. <laughs> kind of healing her wound at the same time as feeding on it. Taking on sustenance. It's already closed. You're fine. Get McDonald's instead. I feel like I lost you. I. You what? I love you. I try not to, but I can't stop. At least he tries to not try and tries not to. Gonna lead like where I think it's gonna lead. <laughs> they did it, I guess. Like, what sort of angel. What's going on? Oh, of course, it was a part one, wasn't it? To be continued. Okay, that's a hell of a cliffhanger. Wow, okay, so what happened there? <laughs> Is he cursed somehow? Like, he was in pain, right? He was writhing on the floor. He ran away from Buffy as well, almost like... Like, if you are in pain and you needed help, you'd probably wake the person up, right? And say, oh, there's something wrong with me. So I'm thinking he's had this happen before because he ran away, almost like he doesn't want Buffy to see it. Although, did he just shout Buffy there? I couldn't tell. It sounded like Buffy, but he might have said... Not now. I couldn't hear it over very well with the rain. I'm thinking maybe this happens to him periodically and he becomes dangerous maybe, whatever's happened to him. And he needed to get away from Buffy. But if he did shout Buffy, I'm completely wrong because obviously he needs her help. But I don't know why he'd run out into the rain like that. Okay. So it looked like to me like some sort of, I don't know. I'm thinking like a voodoo, voodoo doll situation, like someone was doing something to him, like a curse. So that could be the judge, the vampires don't think could do that, or the, the Romany gypsies, right? They've cursed him already, so it's probably more likely them. But what have they done? Just, do they, can they make him suffer like that in pain? Is that all that was? I don't know. Oh, hold on. So they made it look like they slept together there, so I think they did. So could that be some sort of the, the demon inside him? punishing him for doing that because Buffy's a human right she's not she's not a vampire she's not a demon she's special but she's not a demon so has he crossed the line there in the demon world maybe um I enjoyed it so I'm going to score it episode number 13 part one I might revise this score once I've seen part two but 
I'm going to give that 8.5, I think. Yeah, I really enjoyed it, 8.5. By the way, I'm doing 0 0.5, 0 0.25 in some situations because I know there's so many episodes. So I don't want to, if I want to give myself more room, you know, because otherwise there's going to be like tons of episodes that are scored exactly the same, even though I don't think they're as good as certain other episodes. So the point something is going to help me in that respect. So yeah, I'm going to get to 8.5. Anyway, thank you for watching and hopefully you'll join me for episode number 14, uh, part two. See you then. See ya. Bye.